Hillsborough Television News Breaks, connecting you to county events. I just want to thank you all for coming this morning. And uh, it's all around us here in the James Harkins the fourth plaza so hi Jane how are you and the completed work is called Sandpiper Pavilions was created by artist Corinne Rolstad of Seattle Washington the long legs of the metal shaped pavilions over our heads give an artistic nod to the legs of the sandpiper an important Florida shore bird the tops of the pavilions feature artfully cut openings in the pattern of palm leaves the shades from these pavilions gives the effect of layered palm fronds on the ground at our feet. These play with the water drop patterns sandblasted into the floor below, creating a thought-provoking and beautiful ambiance for this important public space. At night, colored LED lights accent the pavilions and add to the beauty of this space. This work of art's reference to palms, water, and sandpipers give the visual connection to our surrounding environment and architecture, and especially in this area. This is just um, so appropriate for the, the backdrop and, and what's here in this area, uh, the architecture. It also gives definition to this activity space, making it all the more perfectly suited to provide our residents with poetry readings, musical programs, and all kinds of wonderful events. You know, public art is just so important. Um, it's just, I remember reading the other day, um, you know, they have this big thing going on in the education circles with STEM, you know, technology, engineering, math, uh, really becoming important with students. And um, April Griffin, one of the school board members, said, well, I want to change it to STEAM and add arts to it. And that is the right thing to do because arts really let our kids know who they are. And they give them so much um, ability to you know, be more creative in their, no matter what they're doing, whether they're an engineer, technology expert, whatever they do. Um, the site advisory commi committee for this project helped to select the kind of art to be placed here and the specific artist for the job. My name is Joan Shalek and it was my great pleasure to be appointed as the coordinator of this committee in 2006. I'm sorry to say that's when it all began. <laughs> and I was happy to pick people from the Friends of the Library. And some of them are here today. That's Marion Scheller, Patty Brandt, Mimi. Mimi. Yeah. Mimi. She's over there taking pictures and gossiping, I don't know what, but she was part of it. We had originally seven people selected who self-selected themselves. They volunteered. They came from many different communities. Um, we wanted as wide a geographic spread as possible. We met since that time. And on, I'll never forget it, July 14th, 2008, we selected this artist, Karen Rolstedt, from a field of, I believe we had 80 applicants. So this is a very important, impressive moment, and thank you for honoring us. And now I would like to give a special recognition to someone whose diligence and guidance has been absolutely essential and making sure that this project came to fruition right here in this much loved regional library. And that is, of course, our own Mr. James J. Harkins IV. Uh, Mr. Harkins, would you please come and join me at the podium? I've known you for a long time, <laughs> and we're so forever grateful for your tireless contributions to our community. And I just want to say on behalf of the Board of County Commissioners of Hillsborough County, it's my pleasure to present this commendation uh, to you. And I'll read this real quick. It says, the Hillsborough County Board of County Commissioners hereby commends and thanks you 
for your lasting commitment to Hillsborough County, the South Shore community, and all those who live, work, and play here. Even as your world-renowned work as a historian, lecturer, and transatlantic activist takes you across all Florida and even to Ireland and Germany, your deep dedication to enhancing the local community is unwavering. You demonstrate this in all you do, including through your work as the founder of the South Shore Roundtable, which works to promote civic improvements, as a 10-year member of the Hillsborough County Library Board, as a passionate member of the Friends of the South Shore Regional Library, and as the principal champion for bringing public art to the South Shore Regional Library for the enjoyment of its patrons. Your steadfast commitment to the community and its residents ensured the South Shore Regional Library came to be. And so it is especially fitting that the public art you worked so diligently to secure, Sandpiper Pavilions, is now placed in the James J. Harkins IV Plaza. We thank you for your continuing passion for the quality of life for our residents, and we're proud to have you a resident of Hillsborough County and acknowledge with respect and appreciation your many years of faithful service and community spirit. And I hope this hang, they hang this up in the library, but you're awesome. You. And please say a few words. Thank you very much, Commissioner. Uh, you and I go back uh, a long ways. And I'm, I'm, you're, I'm very proud to know you and uh, that you're my friend. But one of the persons I would really like to uh, thank is uh, one of the people I've always admired. And she was sort of the, the spark plug, uh, if you will, uh, to help us get this library. And that's Jan Platt. Now, Commissioner Platt, uh, uh, she is one of the one of the crown jewels of uh, Hillsborough County, uh, Jan uh, not only uh, uh, had what was a person responsible to get this library on track, but Jan was my vice president to set up the Hillsborough Community College system. So um, without her her due diligence and her elan, things could never have taken place. Or, uh, or if they had taken place as rapidly as they did. I'd also like to mention, uh, at this juncture, Senator Tom Lee, because when we were building the HCC, we needed money, and I went to him when he was Senate President, and Tom says, no problem, and they stepped up to the plate, and these are three or four people that really helped us get this whole cultural ambience from uh, this side of uh, I-75 to the other side of I-75. I think people in another generation down the road are going to look back and thank us. Thank you very much. I just want to say we all follow his lead. He was the leader. He was the idea person. There would not be that junior college down there down here had it not been for Jim saying, we need a junior college down in Sun City area. Nobody ever thought of that until Jim came along. He was the leader, and so he deserves to have this patio and a lot more made for it. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Thank you. Now I'd like to share with you about the artists whose work we're now enjoying today. Ms. Rolstad has a background in engineering, architecture, and fine arts. This fascinating combination of experience leads her to create art that emphasizes natural forms, even while exploring various materials, technology, and imagery. And you can see that she has certainly done that with this uh, rendition of her artwork, this creative display uh, that we are celebrating here today. And we thank her for her vision and execution on this creative and public space uh, defining uh, work of art. This is an important celebration. Uh, James, you've done so much. We need to recognize you as much as we can because your um, wisdom and guidance has certainly done so much down here. Uh, but we are celebrating Sandpiper Pavilions here at the James J. Harkins the Fourth Plaza at the South Shore Regional Library. And I encourage you now to just go out and visit with each other, enjoy this beautiful uh, public space that we have, uh, have some refreshments. They're provided by the friends of the South Shore Regional Library today. So thank you all for coming. 
if you have any questions or anything, I know Joe is here uh, from the library, and um, I'd say I'll go up and wish James well with his, uh, his next venture. So one of our uh, goals was uh, to establish a regional library. This is a 40,000 square foot library. We're the only library that can boast of an outdoor plaza, a complete European genealogy section. We also have our own uh, internal art studio because uh, the uh, people down here are very interested in art. And we had a, uh, a reputable uh, and well-known uh, art dealer, collector, and painter himself when uh, uh, he, John Crawford, and when he died, he gave us all of his paintings, uh, which graces the entire library. And it's, it's part of this scheme to, to, put, to establish the second uh, phase of uh, our uh, cultural center here. Uh, we lobbied uh, with the help of uh, Jan Platt uh, to get a Hillsborough Community College down here. So now we have a Hillsborough Community College, we have the library station, we have a sheriff's station, and uh, we're looking for other, other goals to do and other things to do. And uh, well, this all couldn't have um, really happened if we didn't have the community support, especially uh, friends of the library. Because libraries are, are evolving, uh, as everybody knows, we are at the end of the beginning of a new transition period where libraries are no longer going to be warehouses full of old paper. They're gonna be cultural centers where you're gonna have uh, internet capability and everything is gonna be on an electronic platform. Thank you very much for your time.